In this video, we will discuss description keys. Description keys are used to map different point properties and settings based on a point's raw description. You can access the description keys in the settings tab, point category, and then you have the description key sets category. In this drawing, there's already one here called Civil 3D Class. Let's go ahead and right click on it and choose Edit Keys and notice how it appears in the panorama window. Let's turn Auto Hide off for a second and we'll go ahead and review the different columns that you can edit within the description key set. First off, we have the code column. Of course, the code column is the actual raw code being used by surveyors to actually describe the point that they may be locating on the ground. We have the style column, which is used to map the actual code to what style you want to use. Notice that there's an option when you click on this to actually set this to default. If you set this to default, what this will use is the active style defined in the current point group that's at the top of the list. We'll discuss point groups later on. You can also define a point label style to specifically lock in to the raw code. The format column is used to actually define your description. What's really cool about this is that you can actually control how your descriptions get defined using and leveraging data that may be stored in the actual raw description. Let's back up to the code column for a second. Notice that the majority of these have an asterisk at the end of it. What that tells Civil 3D, grab everything after the raw code and allow it to come into Civil 3D to eventually be used possibly in the description. Notice how we have this one here called CONIF and inside the format column, it says dollar sign one inch mark CONIF. The dollar sign one is the first parameter after the raw code to grab. So maybe the surveyor located the tree and put the actual size of the tree in there. Civil 3D will grab that and put it into the description automatically. Pretty cool. Let's create a new one and see what else you can do with that. I'll go ahead and right click anywhere over here and we can either copy or we can just say new. We'll go ahead and say new. And when we scroll down here, you'll notice that it puts it at the end. We want to create a description key for combination poles, the description code CUMB. And again, let's put the asterisk afterwards so that Civil 3D will grab everything after that. Note that you can sort these columns and notice we have com asterisk there. Let's go ahead and find a default style to use. So we'll go ahead and pick a utility pole style. Click OK. And now let's go ahead and set the format to actually leverage the poll number that the server is possibly picked up. So first we'll just do combo poll and we'll say number parentheses dollar sign one. If they maybe added another one, you could actually put in here dollar sign two and so on. For now, we'll just go with dollar sign one and press enter. What layer should this go on? We'll go ahead and click on this one here and click over here. Note that if you do not define the layer for this to go on, Civil 3D will use the style, which is okay, except for the fact that what makes this functionality really very nice is the fact that you can actually use layer freeze command to freeze individual layers. Let's keep moving along here. We have the scale parameter, which actually allows you to scale the actual point based upon the actual parameter. Now with this one, I do not want to do that. So this would actually take that number and scale this block. That could be any number. However, with the tree, maybe we do. Maybe we want the trees to look a little larger and smaller based upon their actual size. The other columns here are basically how to apply different scale factors as well as a rotation parameter as well that you may want to use leveraging the actual setting defined after the raw code. Let's go ahead and view this actually working. I'll go ahead and just turn auto hide off for a second. Let's zoom into the circle here. So notice how we already have some combo poles and we didn't have a raw code beforehand. Notice how it just came in by itself. To update the points within your drawing, I'll go ahead and right click on the point groups, which again, we will discuss later on and choose apply description keys and watch what happens. It will apply that description key and automatically update the object with the style defined by the description key code as well as the description itself. Really cool stuff. Now, if we use the layer freeze command, 
you'll notice here I can actually freeze these individual layers because they are on their own unique layers. Again, very nice functionality.